This tutorial is about using the, the drawing panel. I'm gonna go quickly over the main features. If you open the, the draw.swf, you'll see the animation just like it's in the online demonstration. On the right top side you see use drawing panel. Once you open it you see the grid and you can right away start drawing creating any shape you like, save it, close panel and we'll start using this shape you just created uh, in the shape you can also draw holes it's a second option save it, close panel and you can see it's drawing a hole you can select holes and you can select shapes and if you click the drag button it will drag the shape and the hole. If you click the hole button and drag it, it will just drag the hole. Let's clear it. And now let's start uh, looking at the other features. Uh, if you click a uh, select any of the hover on any of the points, it will select that specific line and if you click the straight round button it will add an anchor point with which you can create curved shapes let's try this one as well save close panel and you can Deselect the select on hover so that it won't hinder you if you have multiple shapes. You can also click the hide button for either a shape or a hole so that it won't accidentally select uh, a dot where you don't want it to. You can unhide, uh, un unselect snap to grid horizontally and vertically so you can draw the dots not only snap to grid but anywhere you like if you select the anchor points you can see that you can also snap the anchor points to grid if that at some point turns out useful if for example you uh, drag a, a dot somewhere where you can't access it anymore you always have this button hide the menu drag it to where you need it and then you can always delete it or do whatever you want with it you can also zoom everything for fine details that can be useful move it around reset it you can imp let's clear this one first you can import an image but it has to be in the same folder as the drawing panel so I'm gonna open this center picture and you can scale it down and set the transparency less move it and each time you have to you move it you have to click it again otherwise it will start drawing so let's put it here and let's say you for example would want to draw the beard usually you put the points base points first and then later you select each corner and add the anchor points to create round curves so you can create round curves where you need them let's just just show it save close panel you see it already creates round curves here let's clear this delete the image something which you might find useful is importing data which you already created or which already exists there's two ways you can either use contents shapes from the XML file or from the class file which is here definitions 3d.as 
and the XML file is right over here contents 3d.xml if we open that in notepad you can see it already has data this is the part which would which I will cover in a different tutorial but you can see it has a lot of definitions including for each letter serif and sans but it also has samples for example a Windows logo if you copy it now I've copied this XML data and now I can import it select XML data paste import it uses the data you just imported as animation now if you for example would like to change it you can simply do whatever you want with it and then generate new XML code Windows or Windows 2 let's just say Windows you can substitute you would copy it close it and open the same file again then substitute the code you already had there another feature which can prove useful to you is the option to have multiple sequences in this case there's just one project but you can create multiple project let's create one square and another project triangle as soon as you save it and close it, it will first create the modified Windows logo once it's done it will remove the animation and start with the rectangle once it's done it will go to the next triangle once that's done return to the first one those are the basics of the, the drawing applications any future updates just keep checking my site if you have any questions you can always email me and I'll try to help out as best as I can always I hope you're going to have fun with it